Welcome to Bar Mills. This is Jack Ellis. Now we're going on to Flattery and McCabe's. This is one of the buildings on the front row of the Cuddy Village. Um, we're not really sure what they make, but we can be almost anything you want made out of in this building. It's a very common building. Um, this one's got a, a barns type structure um, with some shingles and bat board and batten. We're going to build it very similar to all the other things you would build. Again, we're going to build our walls flat. We're going to brace them because we're going to use a uh, water-based stain to put on the wood. So the more we brace it, the less warpage we're going to get. And just remember, if you get a piece of wood that you warp with stain on one side, if you put as much water on the back side as you do on the front, it will not warp the wood. It will come back to being flat. So that's just a quick little hint you can try if you get too much water on your wood wall. So we got uh, the overhang on this building makes the bottom a little different because you're not going to make it into a smaller section than an overhang and then the front section. So we're going to build four walls on this one. The bottom walls is board and batten, the top is shingles. These uh, shingles are our paper shingles. They come in strips. We're going to stain them exactly the way we stain all the others, only we're going to use just a barn red wash on these um, and we're going to be, make it like it looks like it's faded uh, paint on the on the shingles and we're going to use a little wash of white. So we're going to lay up our rows onto the walls and once we get our walls all laid up and smooth on each corners we're going to add our corner boards and we're going to put our four walls together. On this kit most of the windows uh, in this kit are all plastic windows. Uh, we want them to look like wood so basically we took uh, polyscale um, earth paint and used a wash of ink and alcohol over it to give it a little bit of grain and it gives it almost the same uh, color effect as our regular stain on our wood doors and our shutters. So that's a real simple way to make them look like wood. Same thing with our trim on the front and the back. We want to paint those before we we're ready to use them and then we can ink and alcohol them a little bit. When you're putting your bracing on the inside of these buildings, don't forget you can't on the sides where you have the rafter tails, don't run that bracing all the way to the top or you're going to interfere with the way the rafter tail is put to make it easy for you guys to put on these roofs. So take a look at the diagram it shows you and don't run them all the way to the top. The, one of the toughest things in the whole building is the set of stairs and the side uh, stairway. Um, it's not real difficult. It takes a little patience. Uh, take your time and read the instructions and it'll go right together really well. On the corrugated metal roof I took a little different approach on adhering them to the building. I used transfer tape, put it on the back and then cut out each piece of the the uh, corrugated metal and that way all I had to do is peel back the, the uh, back of the tape and stick them right on the, the uh, cardboard roof and it made them very fast and very quick to put on and it also allowed them to stick to the layer below them which um, normally when you do it sticking to the roof you don't get it on the piece below it. Um, the top piece is some car, tar paper that we did and some battens to hold the tar paper down. Uh, those are pretty straightforward. A little chalk on the seams, black chalk, put it right on the seams and drag with a stiff brush down the roof and you'll get some streaking. Very simple, very easy. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to show you something on the back, which is something that we uh, um, we did on purpose. Most buildings at that time didn't have the long pieces of wood so you could do the whole thing. So we put this in three different sections. And the, the boards don't line up, but they don't line up on purpose because that would have been the length of wood they had. So when you're putting this together, don't worry that the boards don't line up. That's the way it should be. And the last thing we did was we put the chimney on the roof. And we mix up a little of white glue and black acrylic paint and do a little bit of, of tar, excuse me, tar around the bottom of the chimney and around the cupola at the top to give it a seal. And basically your building is done. A little weathering, um, not a lot, don't go crazy. Um, uh, the other thing we did which is very interesting is sometimes you can leave a door open 
at the bottom it's kind of cool it looks like something going on inside so that's our our building of flattery and mccabe's in cuddy's village we'll uh extend the series up and we'll get the rest of all the buildings so you can see how we've done those